And the question, what's the current in the top branch? We'll call that I sub B. What is I sub B? Now I can do source transformation if I want to. I can change this to a voltage source, put that up here. Change that to a voltage source and put that resistor up there. Is it going to make it easier? Not really. Anyway, I'm looking at it because I can combine these guys into one. That doesn't change I sub B. If I combine them, I have one node here, V1 and V2, two equations by two unknowns. I've done a few problems with nodal analysis. What about mesh analysis? Well, I got four loops here. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. I got that one. That's four equations by four unknowns, or maybe not. I said, maybe not. Let's call this I sub B, because they call it I sub B. Let's call this I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3. Why am I going that direction if I have four equations by four unknowns? Well, you know, if you exactly. I know two of them. I don't have four equations. I know what these two are. What's I sub 1, David? Which is what? Negative, that's what I was looking for. Five angles, negative 18 degrees. What's I sub 2? I mean, I sub 3, not I sub 2. Negative 2 angle 5. So two of these, I know the value for them. So I only have really two unknown. So if I do KVL, some of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. This is one closed loop on the top. There's another closed loop on the bottom. So let's see what we have at the top. KVL on the top. Some of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. I can combine these guys into one. One plus J3.8. And what's going through that? I sub B. Continue right there, minus J4, that's this one. What's the current going through it? I sub B minus I sub 2, very good, equals 0. Play with the math. I have 1 minus, I think, 0.2 J I sub B. plus 4j i sub 2 is equal to 0. That's my first equation. Now let's do another KVL at the bottom. That's this one. Let's begin with the negative 4J, or J4, it doesn't matter. I'm going this way traveling. So it's I sub 2 minus I sub B. Let's get to this one. I'm traveling this way, so it's I sub 2 minus I sub 3. And what's I sub 3? It's that number, right? So minus minus that will make it a plus 2 angle 5. Keep going, going this way, J2. The current up, which is I sub 2 
<laughs> minus, minus what? I sub 1. What's I sub 1? Is that number that becomes a plus 5 angle 18. Equals 0. That's 18. Looks like a plus, but 18. Oh, no. Negative 18, right? How's that? Does that look like a negative 18? Yes. I know it looked like a plus before. And now we're just going to clean that equation. I have one equation. Once I clean that, there's my second equation. Two equations by two unknowns. I'm ready to go. Let's see what we have. Negative 4j i sub 2 plus 4j i sub b plus 2i sub 2 plus 4 angle 5 plus 2ji sub 2 plus, this is 2 angle 90 times that number. Let's see what that's equal to. 2 angle 90 times 5 angle negative, ah, I forgot to turn on. Okay, let's start again. 2 angle 90 times 5 angle negative 18. Oh, I wrote 17, 18. That's 10 angle 72. I can combine like terms. So in terms of, I put I sub B first, I got to put I sub B first, that's 4J, I sub B. I sub 2, I have what? Is it 2 minus 2J? I sub 2. I can move both of these numbers to the right side, make them a minus. Let's combine them. Negative 10 angle 72 minus 4 angle 5 equals 12.135 angle negative 125.7. And that is my second equation. EQ2. I have two equations by two unknowns. The good news, as I said, about these calculators, you can mix and match modes and they'll know the answer. So simultaneous, here we go. Two equations. Coefficient of the first one, 1 minus 0.2. 1 comma negative 0.2. Next one, 0 comma 4 equals what? 0. Next one, 0 comma 4. Next one, 2 minus 2. And the answer here is 12.135 angle, negative 125.7. Solve it. I have I sub B, which is the first one, is equal 2.73 angle, 152. Point one, and the other one I sub two now equals point six nine. How about point seven or six nine seven angle negative one twenty nine point two. Didn't take that long.
Now, if you had to do the math by hand, yeah, you'll be there for about 10 more minutes. But thank goodness to these calculators, they can just plug in the numbers, boom, 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 boom. There's the answer.